using the optional inventory control module, approved requisitions for items that are being maintained in stock can be filled from inventory rather than being built into POs or other procurement documents. When requisitions are filled, an inventory usage will be posted to deplete the perpetual inventory levels and the value of the item will be charged to the applicable cost center. The first thing you'll see in the Fill Requisitions utility is a screen that lets you select or rather filter which approved requisitions to work with in this session. Depending on your workload, you may not want to work on all requisitions at once, so this screen can be used to prioritize your work. Aside from managing your workload, this filtering screen can also be used if you're only responsible for working on certain types of requisitions. For example, if you manage one of many warehouses, you might select this option to only see approved stock requisitions for your location. Another popular filter is the back order option. For example, you might only want to include requisitions that are on back order once there's enough stock to fill the items. We'll talk a little bit more about back orders in a couple minutes. I'm also going to default the items to ready status if there's enough stock to fill them. You'll see what this does in a second. Before I move to the next step, I want to clarify that you'll only have access to approve requisitions in here. Regardless of which options you select, anything that was rejected or is still in the approval process will never show in this utility. Okay, so here's a list of the approved stock requisitions that I'm going to fill. Notice the status of the items shows ready. That's because there is in fact enough stock to fill each of the items and I selected that checkbox on the previous screen. So when you're ready to fill the items, all you need to do is click done to post the inventory usages for the items. If there isn't enough stock to fill an item, the status column will show a question mark rather than showing ready and then you can make a decision about what to do with the item. So let's pretend we don't have enough of these DVDs. I'll double click to drill into the details where I can enter the quantity I want to fill. In this case there is lots of stock, but let's show you what happens if there's a stock out. I'll pretend that there's, say, seven boxes available. So now I have three options for what to do with the balance. I can back order the balance, which will keep it as an open requisition until stock is replenished, or I can order the balance, which tells SpendMap to create a PO or other procurement document out of it, just like a non-stock item. And finally, I can reject the balance and send it back to the requisitioner, who might be satisfied with seven, or maybe he'll try again with another item. I always back order for stock shortages, so I'll use the Don't Ask Me Again feature to default this prompt going forward. In all cases, whether I back order or order or reject the item, there's an optional email notification to let requisitioners know that they won't be getting everything they asked for. Okay, so here I am back on the list of items, and as you can see, I'm only gonna issue seven, and the balance be on back order. Before I process the requisitions, I guess I should also mention that you can print a pick list to take with you when you go to get the items from your stockroom or warehouse. If your warehouse is organized by bin number, you'd probably select this sort option so that the list is in the right order as you walk down the aisles to pick the items. So there you have it. Other than the item that was back ordered, the other requisitions have been filled from stock, the inventory usages have been posted, the status of the requisition was updated, and the requisitioner got an email to let them know what happened.